Alright, so here's uh, the last question on a level 2 functional skills paper and it's, uh, it's there's, there's a lot of words here I mean this is going to be it's going to be a tricky one to follow I can see that before even looking at the question so uh, let's think about what it's like let's, let's have a read through Sam wants to buy a plane ticket to Hong Kong and pay for a stay at a hotel he wants to use loyalty points for the plane ticket the ticket Sam wants costs two twenty thousand points Sam has seventeen thousand five hundred and forty points he can buy bundles of two thousand points for thirty four pounds each he cannot buy parts of a bundle. The cost of the hotel stay is 6,650 Hong Kong dollars. The exchange rate is one pound equals 11.865 Hong Kong dollars. Sam thinks he will pay less than 700 pounds in total for the points he needs to get the plane ticket and for the hotel. Is Sam correct? Right, so there's a couple different things going on here. There's the conversion to go from Hong Kong dollars into pounds or from pounds into Hong Kong dollars and there's uh, the bundle, that there's the points he needs, and there's the hotel. Let's first deal with the points. So he needs 20,000 points, and he has uh, 17,540. So how many more points does he need? Well, he needs 20,000, and he's already got 17,540, so he needs another 2,460. Now he can buy bundles of 2,000 points and 2,000 points won't be enough. He'll need to buy two bundles. Okay, and they are £34 each. If he needs two bundles and they're £34 each, that's two lots of 34, so the bundles are going to cost him £68. Um, on top of the points he needs, he also needs to pay for the hotel which is 6,650 Hong Kong dollars. Now one pound is 11.865 Hong Kong dollars. So if I can find out how many of this are in the cost of the hotel, then that's also how many pounds are in the cost of the hotel. So I'm going to take 6,650 and divide it by 11.865 to give me this number. So again, to just say what I did there, I took the cost of the hotel, which is in Hong Kong dollars, found out how many of this go into it, because that's how many pounds go into it. And lo and behold, the cost of the hotel is 560 pounds, and then all of this stuff. Now I'm going to round it here. Uh, this is too many decimal places. You can't go. You don't go to a hotel and they say it's going to be 560 pounds and 47.19 pence. They don't say that. They say to the nearest penny. So. I'm going to round this to the nearest penny, which means I want to round it here. Now this, when I'm rounding, this last number that I'm looking at, this 7, could be pushed up to an 8 if the next number is big enough. But looking at this example, uh, the next number is a 1, which means the 7 stays the same as a 7 and I can just delete those numbers. Good, okay, so that's how much the hotel is going to cost him. He also needs to pay this £68 for the extra points he needs to get the flight. So it's 560.47 for the 0.47 for the hotel and we're adding on to that 68 pounds for the bundles. So we've worked out that it's going to cost him 628 pounds and 47 pence. Good. Sam thinks he will pay less than 700 pounds in total. Is Sam correct? Which has worked out how much he needs and yes, it is less than 700 pounds in total. Now part B wants us to show a check of our working. So, as always, I'm going to make it super clear to the examiner that I'm doing a check. I'm going to set it out separately. I'm going to write what I'm doing. And to check an answer, I always do a reverse calculation. I'm going to take some part of my working out and do it backwards, so from right to left, uh, in reverse, to try and get a number that makes sense. All right, I'm going to pick to do this bit. I'm going to choose this part of my working out because, honestly, it looks like the shortest bit. It looks like the most straightforward part of what I've done. So like I said, I'm going to go from right to left. I'm going to start with the answer, which was 68. And before, when I did it forwards, I did a times. So instead of a times, we're going to do a divide. And now reading the numbers again, 68 divided by 34 is the next number. My answer should be, when I press equals, should be 2, if I've done that working out correctly. So 68 divided by 34 equals, it does equal 2. And this shows that I've done my working out up here correctly because I got the same answer two different ways. So there's my check of my working. 
this is where I got those five marks earlier, and I'm happy that this is full marks for this question.